All right, it's August 9th. Uh, I'm at Over Mountain Shelter. Uh, Over Mountain because it's the Over Mountain Trail where uh, militia marched in Revolutionary War to go over the mountain to uh, win in the Battle of Kings uh, Mountain against uh, British Loyalists. Um, here is the shelter. It is a it is a barn, which I wish they would do mo more of this, that they went ahead and restored for um, to use as a shelter. And again, it looks like it's in wonderful shape. Uh, I was upstairs, so I'll go up there a little bit. As you go through here, we also have hello, ladies. Hi there. Hello. You want to introduce yourself? I'm Kirsten. My name is Becca, and I'm hello, Becca. Kelly. Kelly is is our pup. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly is my last name, so that's so. Uh, Becca's from Tulsa. Uh, originally what? Texas, actually. Ah, what part of Texas? Austin. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Haven't lived in Austin yet. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Now, I know y'all like this kind of stuff. But if you look out here on the view, we actually have a good uh, scenery. Um, now, I was told that the previous seat was beautiful, and I translated that in my head to say, to think that the privy itself was beautiful. But I'm going to come up here and I'm going to show you the privy seat. People had decided to, now, yeah, this is, this is, this is how desperate we are for entertainment out here. Yeah, so this is pretty much the most bare bones toilet and I guess it's because they decided they only wanted to dig a hole so here is the art artwork, artwork on top and there is the artwork on the bottom so beautiful little area beautiful privy seat pretty much nothing else but the barn here is wonderful. And actually what I think they do is, is they decided they didn't want to have the volunteers um, uh, raking and turning over the uh, moldering compost, which is what uh, the other states do. Because Tennessee, quite, li quite honestly, hadn't had, we don't get privies in Tennessee uh, for some reason. Uh, they don't do uh, privies, which means that all of your Tennessee shelters have um, uh, cat holes that have been dug. Uh, so yeah, you're quite likely to find you know you know land, uh, uh, poop landmines if you go digging around at a, a Tennessee uh, shelter. Um, Oh, my leg. Let me show you my leg. See, I changed the dressing, or I changed the, the, the gauze stretchy bits, and it's seeping like it's supposed to, which is a little disturbing, but it is supposed to do that. All right. And over here, so you can see, I have a wonderful view. I'm going up uh, two mountains today, Little Hump Mountain and then Hump Mountain. So, but we go through here and, and so obviously they uh, come out here with uh, maybe a, a car and, uh, or not, you know, come out here with a truck or whatever and, and mow it, because uh, this isn't natural. Um, but it wouldn't take much, uh, there's, a, there's a dirt road down there that, um, that uh, goes to other folks. So, so we come up here and they can then maintain and they probably even uh, brought in a backhoe to dig out the uh, privy um, because it looks like there's another, an older privy, uh, you know, 20 yards down the road or 20 yards down the trail, five yards down the trail, anyway. So that way they don't have to turn it over. They just uh, dig a new hole, which I guess is what people did back in the day as well. So, all right, well, that's my, uh, oh, oh, well, flowers, uh, beautiful flowers, uh, 
Uh, we've also had wonderful amounts of blackberries, which, um, which yesterday I ate a ton of blackberries. And I'm saying blackberries, uh, I didn't, I ate some blackberries, but I ate a bunch of huckleberries. Um, and this is, uh, so anyway, with that being said, goodbye, good luck on August 9th.